Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Proxmy here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. And if you guys did miss out in the last episode, basically what happened is, is that uh, we actually went and taken care of our next boss, uh, which that was the fake Mega Tyranitar, because that was from the Void Shadows. And we also got to go out and uh, also battle out the Mega Gengars as well uh, in the process. And uh, now we are finally out of that uh, Void Lance section now. I think we are finally now back in... Uh, our real world which that is actually pretty nice and I don't know if we are actually gonna be uh, doing some side stuff but I think we may probably will since we kind of did a very big huge story plot throughout this whole entire game here right now but we'll see what is gonna be happening throughout this episode here for today uh, also too, hope you guys are having yourself a good Tuesday and without further ado let's go and jump right on in into this episode shall we oh and also too, hope you guys are gonna be checking out the brand new series we are gonna be doing mother 3 of course which I am super pumped about we just started off with episode one heading into the nowhere islands uh playing around with lucas for the time being and uh i think we also went and also played as flint as well too which we are going to be doing episode two relatively pretty soon throughout this week so stay tuned for that um so yeah uh because like right now we are already finished with bowser's fury it was a great series and uh it was too bad that unfortunately that we kind of had to end it but you know what uh we uh, it's actually pretty nice because we could go and jump right into another new series but here we go so oh everything hurts Oh, so it looks like we're kind of back at Revelation Mountain or something because th th it feels a little bit like I think we're back at Revelation Mountain because of the Lumino Spring over there that I see. So where am I now? Oh, wait, isn't this Revelation Mountain? It is. So that's right. Zap and I. Yeah, we got turned to stone here by Yubito during this time. Oh, Zap is also back, but oh, no. Seems like Archon and everybody else is still kind of in their statue positions. Oh, Prox, where are we? Well, we're back here, back at uh, Revelation Mountain, so, huh? Revelation Mountain, that's right, we we came back from the Voidlands. Now I remember everything, Prox. Uh, we have to save the others. Uh, that luminous water. Yeah, it's all gone thanks to Nuzleaf and Yuvidal out here. The water, it's all dried up. I knew that Nuzleaf would just leave it just waiting here for us. Uh, I knew it, and yet, uh, so there's no way to turn them back? Unfortunately not. Man, that sucks. I wish there was, like, another way that we could figure out where other water is going to be. Or that special water is going to be. Raikou, Suicune, and even Archon. I really thought that we were going to make it out of the Void list together. And that place, it wasn't the kind of place that you, uh, you go and make it uh, back unscathed. And there's no way that we would have made it all the way back. It's just like Ette said at the end there. He knew it was a lost cause, and that's why he decided to bet everything on us. They did it all for us all along, and when I think back now of how, how cold they seemed to, uh, seemed to us, I guess maybe they didn't want us to know about what they were planning to do. And we owe Entei and the others everything, and we can't give it up now. They left this whole world in our hands. So, Zap. I know. I, I know that you're right. And I'm the one who promised that we could save them. And to do that, we gotta first keep this world from ending. I've just got to shake this funk. Huh, but uh, why do they choose us? I mean, I, I get you, Prox. Uh, you're a real human after all, and that's what was written on those old tablets, right? Uh, you should hope to overcome this crisis. Summon a person. I think Entei and the others really believed that and put their faith in those words. But me? Why would anyone count on me? I can't say for sure, but there still are some mysteries surrounding Zap too. Like being able to read the ancient language as though it was nothing. And the, sca uh, and the scarves too. Yeah, because we still haven't really uh, transformed into our, uh, our final evolutions yet, and that only happened only once. But hopefully that could happen again at some point. Well, I guess uh, I got lucky enough to uh, be put here with you, Prox. This is no time to waste on thinking, and besides, it's not just Entei and them who have pinned their hopes on us now. We can't forget about Denene. Yeah, that, of course, is as well, too. It's too bad that all of our friends also got sucked up by those guys. Hopefully they hopefully we can find out a way that we can actually go and save them at some point, but uh, when well, we were able climbing reverse mount in Wawile, doesn't it make you mad, Wawile? You're almost as strong as Entei, right? I'll save it. My power is no match for the trio of the legendary Pokemon, and also, how can I put this? For whatever reason, I just did it. doesn't bother me. It's kind of strange, I guess. I didn't understand it, but maybe Mawa had already figured it out, what Entei and them already had in mind. Maybe she knew how much they were planning to give up for us. It's not just Ente and them that we owe. Everyone has given something up for us. Zap. They all have all done so much for us. Archon, Weasel, Mawal, all of them. Uh, so this time, 
This time we'll be the ones to help them. We don't have time to waste with just getting all the press or, or anything. That's my zap. So, Prox, let's go back to Lively Town. We've got to find Ampharos, of course. And that's what I just had in mind. It would take too much time if the two of us had to try and tackle all of this on our own. And that's the time that we don't have. We should start by talking to Ampharos. Now let's get off of this mountain. Of course. Oh, uh, man. I like. I have to say, I, I'm starting to like still like this, like this whole like game right now, J just for the way what what the plot's all about. Like, it's just so exciting to see that like Nuzleaf was actually like behind all of this. Like, we never even thought that that was even going to be happening. No, no, no. They could all have been turned into stone. How could they? Come on, Prox, we're leaving. Uh, what? What's going on, Zap? It looked like I may be worried. Like, really, really scared to death to worry. I don't know what happened to my old paws, but where is he? Or whether he's okay or not. I'm petrified just to think about it, but... If I go and try to find out my old paws now, I don't think I'll be able to keep on going. This path that we started down. I, I can't. I can't stop now. Zap, you... I just can't think about just saving uh, Serene Village. It's the whole world that needs saving now. And we don't have time. So let's go, Prox. Let's go to Lively Town. Zap. It's all right. My old pots will be all right. He will. He has to be. Oh, man. And here we go. Let's save and continue. All right. So back to Lively Town we go. The hot, the hot, hot sun. It's just me or is it getting harder than before? Uh, it's true. The sun even looks bigger in the sky. That can't be, though. Oh, look, Prox. You can see it now. We finally reached Lively Town. Oh, so nice. We don't even have to worry about heading back into the actual main, uh, like, like, into the actual dungeon to actually, like, try and, like, fight all the different Pokemon in there. We can just literally head right to, to, back to this area. So it's just a bit further. Come on. Well, hopefully Ephros and everybody's gonna be there. Here we go. Chapter 19. This planet is already... Uh-oh. Got some ellipses. Alright, huh? Nose pass and Miltate, too. Oh, uh, they've all been turned to stone. Oh, man, this is not good. Uh, that sucks. Then that means we can't even talk to Kelkion then. Uh, Prox, what about everyone in the Expedition Society? We have to find out. Of course. Oh, man, look at everybody. Prox, let's get to the Expedition Society. Okay. Yeah, so there's no Kelkion shop here. Oh, man. Well, let's go and check inside. Maybe Kegasar has already been. Uh, there's no time for wandering off. Oh, okay, well, I guess we can't check out on every Pokemon, but it seems like, uh... Uh, Krakorok has also been turned into stone. Oh, no. Oh, Swirlix. Oh, man. Even Swirlix has been turned to stone. Uh, what's this? Perfect apples. She wasn't even trying to run from an, uh, an enemy or anything. She was just standing here eating a perfect apple and they just attacked her. Oh, but what about Ampharos, Jirachi? Yeah, that's also another thing, too. We should probably go and see. Ampharos, Jirachi. Wow. Oh, it looks like everybody's still safe. Well, that's good. At least we can still talk to Keko, and maybe you'll still be able to sell some items. Thank goodness, at least you're alright. Uh, we all fled here when the attack came. I wasn't sure that we could ever see you two either again. Please, tell us what happened to the town. Uvetl attacked us. Uh, Uvetl. Uh, and not just us here in Lively Town, but Uvetl uh, sent out a warning to all the world, claiming that the Pokemon would be sent to the Void. What? The Void? We didn't know what... That really meant, and when we first heard the warning, we didn't understand the thing. And when Uvetl, uh, and when Uvetl appeared here in Lively Town, all of our friends turned to stone one after another right before our eyes. It was a complete shock. Grabbed the deposit box and ran straight here. The members of the Expedition Society opened this building to all of us, and we were in no situation to refuse. So we took them up on their offer and evacuated here. I'm sorry, it sounded like it was terrible, and Uvetl was attacking all of the Pokemon around the world now. What purpose could that even serve? According to the ancient writings, dark matter is behind Pokemon being turned to stone. But then how are Uvetl and Nuzleaf involved? We still don't have any answers. It's no matter. Uvetl has turned on uh, uh, on the Pokemon of the world. Legendary Pokemon are attempting uh, battle Uvetl on their own. But from what I hear, it's only resulted in them being turned to stone one after another. I don't know if we should even try to fight them any longer. Right, you're right. I don't know how to fight them, but I'm gonna find a way, no matter what. And when I'm going to save those Pokemon who have been turned to stone, so don't worry, everyone. Just keep your spirits up. Hmm. Huh? What's What's the matter with all of you? Oh, nothing. I just never thought that we would uh, have to be cheered up by a child like you. This is quite the eye opener. 
Yes, and if we had to uh, be told by Zap of all people, then we really must need to get our acts together. So that's what uh, that's what we'll do. So that's great. No need for you two to worry about us. No one can keep us from being down for too long. After all, did Ephros say that he'd take care of things uh, some way or another? Oh, Ephros did? Did Ephros make it through the attack? Yes, Jirachi as well. Oh, well that's pretty nice. At least uh, they're all safe and sound. So though they, they have been uh, in, in and out at the time trying to find answers, I don't know how for certain that they are just here now. So Prox, I know. I'm still, sad, uh, I'm still sad that Swirlish was turned to snow, but it's such a relief to know that those two at least made it through. Like any of us would just stand around to be turned to stone, naturally it would be business as usual, even if we must temporarily really set up here. So we want to help out the Expedition Society. So I set a deposit box right here too. Nice, so we'll try to keep things running as they usually do. So just come talk to us whenever we be a a of any service. Well, so thank you, Keklon, and all of you. Prox, Ephros, and Jirachi are okay. Well, we have to go find them and talk to them. Of course. Alright, so let's just go and save our adventure. And I think what we're going to probably do is kind of end off this episode here for today. Because I think we kind of did a little bit of some of some story plot here for the time being and i don't really want to make this episode go a little bit too long than usual but thank you guys so much for watching in the next one we are going to go and find uh ambrose and jirachi go and talk to them and figure out what our next uh goal is uh here in this game to figure out what is going to be happening but at least now we can finally say that there's a deposit box here we can go in and check out some of our uh, uh, uh our um items and whatnot so that we can like kind of uh, do some switching around or whatnot but i may probably do that like off recording uh before we actually go and do anything so anyways uh, i'll see you guys then and uh, also two guys uh there is a earthbound episode happening out your guys's way for wednesday as well too which we are going to be heading on into the pyramid and actually going to be doing some other uh, pretty awesome cool things as well too uh such as i think getting the multi-bottle rocket also, uh, doing some other, uh, things such as, I think we may probably be heading into the dungeon, uh, the, the dungeon man, uh, uh, maze, uh, I think, but I don't think we're gonna have enough time because of the pyramid is just kinda long, but hopefully everything's gonna be fine with that, but I'll see you guys then, and peace.